okay so next we will discuss the concept of event versus enrollment data so what is the difference in generating a report of event output type and enrollment output type so as i mentioned for a particular program stage if there are multiple events within the program stage event report will pick up data from all the events within that program stage so if lab request was sent five times for a person five events will be shown for that person while enrollment output always shows just one latest event for that person so enrollment is specific to individual while event is specific to events for that individual so let us see that by generating few reports so here we'll take the example of the lab request so wherein we see that for the lab request being sent for a person multiple lab requests may be sent i'll show you by opening one of the existing records reports that we will be generating then so as you see this is a lab request summary report where we see for the same patient angela campbell there are two events for the same date so as you see two samples were given for the person one was the nasopharyngeal swab and bronchoalveolar lavage so event report will show both of these events for the same person right let us see this in the tracker capture if i select the program and i'll search for a record which has multiple events for lab request program stage so there is this case id angela campbell wherein if you look at the lab request there are two events for the program stage lab request one is the collection of nasopharyngeal swab and one is the collection of bronchoalveolar lavage so we will see how the result for angela campbell changes for the event report and for enrollment report so i'll do the selection in the event reports here i will see line list for the event type my program is case based surveillance and my uh, stage is lab request right so i'll select lab request in my report i would like to see local case id name of the person lab test what was the reason for the test and what was the type of the lab test and what was the specimen which was collected right so i have selected for lab request some of the attributes and then the details on the lab test and the specimen collected since this data exist for last year so now my selection i will change this to last year and this is for facility chw mahasot so i will change my facility here to this one and update now i would just like to filter my data for a particular case id so in my data field local case id i will enter this case id 5353942 and update so as you see same case id same person is coming twice in the line list because two samples have been collected for angela so all of these two samples will be made available in the event report right now let us see how this report changes if we switch to enrollment type of output 
So now in my output type here, I will change it to enrollment type. I will reselect all those things, case-based surveillance, lab request, case ID, name, surname, lab test reason, type of test and type of specimen. I'll select the required period and I will select the same facility. I will again put in a filter for my specific case ID, which is 5353942. Now, as you see, this shows only the one event for the same case, which is nasopharyngeal swab. So the enrollment date filters out all the cases based on the registration date, the enrollment date, and only shows the data for the latest event. So if you look at this record, there were two cases. So the, the most latest which would have been entered was the nasopharyngeal swab. So it shows you data only for the nasopharyngeal swab. Had there been different dates, I mean, you could compare records with different dates and see that the enrollment line list would always show the event with the latest event date. So out of all the events within a program stage, whichever is the most recent event, the same will be displayed in the enrollment type of output. Right, so that's how we see the difference. Event shows all the events and enrollment shows only the most recent event for a person. So we'll stop here for exercise two. You could refer to your learner's guide and exercise two where the same steps have been mentioned. You could practice creating the event and enrollment type of line list. And if there are any questions, you can put them on the chat.